Hi, welcome to this Corporate Miles video. In this video, we're going to look at the video solutions to the rounding practice questions. If you need any extra help on rounding, if you go to www.corpmaths.com forward slash content and scroll down to video numbers 276, 277A, 277B and 278, there's video tutorials that will help you on rounding. Alternatively, you could scan this QR code. But in this video, we're going to go through the video solutions to the practice questions. So let's get started. So question number one. Question number one, we've been asked to round 74 to the nearest 10. So 74 is in between 70 and 80. And it's closer to 70 rather than 80. So the answer would be 70. It's closer to 70 than 80. Okay, our next question. Our next question, question two, says round 852 to the nearest 100. So 852 is in between 800 and 900. And because it's 852, it's closer to 900 than it is to 800. So to the nearest 100, it would be 900. Okay, question number three. So question number three, we've been asked to round 1,483 to the nearest 100. Circle your answer. So the multiple of 100 that is below our number is 1,400. And the next multiple of 100 is 1,500. And we've been asked to choose which one's closer. So we've been asked to round it to the nearest 100. So because it's 1,483, it's closer to 1,500 than it is to 1,400. So the answer would be 1,500. Okay, next question. Question number four. Question number four asks us to round 3.6 to the nearest whole number. So the whole number below 3.6 would be 3, and the whole number above 3.6 would be 4, and 3.6 would be closer to 4 than it would be to 3. So it would be 4 to the nearest whole number. Okay, question number five. Question number five asks us to round 5,277 to the nearest thousand. So the thousand below this number would be 5,000, and the thousand above would be 6,000. In the middle will be 5,500, and this number is clearly below that. It's closer to 5,000 than it is to 6,000. So to the nearest 1,000, it would be 5,000. Okay, question number six. So question number 6a says round 3,925 to the nearest 1,000. So the 1,000 below this would be 3,000, and the 1,000 above this would be 4,000. Because it's 3,925, well, it's clearly above the midpoint, which is 3,500. It would be up here somewhere on the number line. So it's closer to 4,000 than it is to 3,000. So the answer would be 4,000. Question 6b says to round 3,925 to the nearest 100. So the multiple of 100 just below this would be 3,900. And the multiple of 100 just above it would be 4,000. So 3,925, well in the middle would be 3,950. And 3,925 would be down here somewhere. It would be closer to 3,900 than it is to 4,000. So the answer would be 3,900. Question C, we've been asked around 3,925 to the nearest 10. So the multiple of 10 just below this number would be 3,920. The multiple of 10 just above that number would be 3,930. And in the middle is 3,925, and that's the number we've been asked to round. Now, whenever we're in the middle, we round up. So we're going to round up to 3,930. So the answer is 3,930. Okay, part D. Part D asks us to round 17.89 to the nearest whole number. So the whole number beneath this would be 17, and the whole number above this would be 18. In the middle would be 17.5. So 17.89 would be up here somewhere, so it's closer to 18 than it is to 17. So to the nearest whole number, we would round it to be 18. Okay, question number seven. So question number seven asks us to round 833 to the nearest 10. So the multiple of 10 just beneath this number would be 830, and the multiple of 10 above the number would be 840, and in the middle would be 835. So 833 would be here somewhere, so it's going to be closer to 830 than it is 840, so our answer would be 830 to the nearest 10. Okay, our next question. Our next question, we're told a car weighs 2,835 kilograms, and we've been asked to round this to the nearest 100 kilograms. So the multiple of 100 just below this number would be 2,800 kilograms, and the multiple of 100 above that would be 2,900 kilograms. And in the middle, we've been asked to round to the nearest 100, so in the middle would be 2,850 kilograms. Now we're rounding this to the nearest 100, well it's gonna be down here somewhere, it's gonna be closer to 2,800 than it is to 2,900. So it's the nearest 100 kilograms would be 2,800. Okay, question number nine. So question number nine A says to write the number 14,351 in words. So we just write down what we said. 14,000, comma, 300, and 51. 
And that's it. So the number 14,351 in words would be 14,351. Okay, part B, we've been asked to round this to the nearest 100. So the multiple of 100 beneath this number would be 14,300. And the multiple of 100 above that number would be 14,400. And in the middle would be 14,350. So that's in the middle. So 14,351 would be just slightly to the right of the middle. So it's going to be slightly closer to 14,400 than it is to 14,300. So to the nearest 100, our answer would be 14,400. Okay, question number 10. So question number 10, we've been asked to write the number 1,906 in words. So again, we write down what we say. So answer would be 1,906. Okay, and part B. Part B, we've been asked to write the number 20,329 in figures. So that's 20,329 in figures, like so. Okay, and part C, we've been asked to round the number 1,906 to the nearest 10. So the multiple of 10 beneath that number would be 1,900. And the multiple of 10 above that number would be 1,910. And in the middle of those two numbers would be 1,905. Now, 1,906 would be just slightly to the right of the middle. So it's going to be slightly closer to 1,910 than it is to 1,900. So answer would be 1,910. So part D, we've been asked to round the number 38,627 to the nearest thousand. So the multiple of a thousand below this number would be 38,000. And the multiple of a thousand above that number would be 39,000. And in the middle of those two numbers would be 38,500. That would be in the middle. Now this number is going to be slightly to the right of that. It's going to be slightly closer to 39,000 than it is to 38,000. So that would be 39,000. Okay, our next question. Question number 11. We've been asked to write the number 3,627 correct to the nearest 100. So the multiple of 100 below this number would be 3,600. And the multiple of 100 above that number would be 3,700. And in the middle would be 3,650 in the middle. This number would be below 3,650. It would be here somewhere. So it's going to be closer to 3,600 than it is to 3,700. So the answer is 3,600. Okay, next question. Our next question, question 12, we've been asked to round the number 38,495 to the nearest thousand. So the multiple of a thousand just below this would be 38,000. And the multiple of a thousand just above this would be 39,000. And in the middle would be 38,500, so that's in the middle. Our number would be slightly to the left of that, slightly closer to 38,000 than it would be to 39,000. So answer to the nearest thousand would be 38,000. Okay, next question, question number 13. So question number 13 says, a plane ticket costs £247. We've been asked to round this amount of money to the nearest 10. So the multiple of 10 below this number would be £240, and above that number would be £250. So they're the multiples of 10 below and above the number. In the middle would be £245. So this number, our number we're looking at, 247, would be larger than that number, so it's going to be closer to 250 than it is to 240. So the answer would be £250. Okay, question number 14. So let's have a look at question 14. So question 14 says, there's 2,600 jelly beans in a jar to the nearest 100. So in a jar, there's 2,600 jelly beans to the nearest 100. And Jack says that there could be 2,538 jelly beans in the jar. Mia says there could be 2,640 jelly beans in the jar. And Frank says there could be 2,651 jelly beans in the jar. So let's round all these numbers to the nearest 100, and let's see if any of them round to 2,600. So let's start off with Jack. So Jack says there was 2,538. So the multiple of 100 below this number would be 2,500. The multiple of 100 above this number would be 2,600. And in the middle would be 2,550, because we're rounding to the nearest 100. And this number, 2,538, would be below that midpoint. So it's going to be closer to 2,500 than it is to 2,600. So this number would round to 2,500, not 2,600. So Jack can't be correct. OK, Mia. Let's have a look at Mia. So Mia says there's 2,640 jelly beans in the jar. So the multiple of 100 below that number would be 2,600. And the multiple of 100 above that number would be 2,700. In the middle would be 2,650. 2,640 is closer to 2,600 than it is to 2,700. So therefore, Mia is correct. It would round to 2,600 to the nearest 100. So that number would round to 2,600. So Mia is correct. Jack is wrong. And let's just check if Frank's correct or not. So Frank says in the jar there could be 2,651 jelly beans. So the multiple of 100 below that would be 2,600. 
the multiple of 100 above that would be 2,700, and in the middle would be 2,650. So 2,651 is slightly closer to 2,700 than it is to 2,600, so that would round up to 2,700. So Frank is wrong, that amount of jelly beans couldn't be in the jar. So who's correct? Mia's correct, there could be 2,640 jelly beans in the jar, so Mia. Okay, let's have a look at question number 15. So question number 15, we've been asked to round the number 4.63 to one decimal place. So we've got 4.63 and we want to round it to one decimal place, so either a 4.5, or 4.6, or 4.7, 4.8, something like that where we've got one number after the decimal point. So if we had 4.63, that's slightly bigger than 4.6, and it's lower than 4.7. They're the numbers with one decimal place just below our number and just above our number. And we have to decide if 4.63 is going to be closer to 4.6 or 4.7. So in the middle would be 4.65, so that's in the middle. So 4.63 is going to be closer to 4.6 than it is to 4.7. So that means 4.63 to one decimal place would be 4.6. Another way to look at it is if we want to round to one decimal place, we look at the second decimal place. It's a three, so we don't round up, so it's going to be 4.6. If that number, the second decimal place is a five, a six, a seven, an eight, or a nine, we just round up. So we then call it 4.7 rather than 4.6. So that approach would work as well. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So question 16. So question number 16 says round 9.18 to one decimal place. So again, we could look at the second decimal place. It's an eight. So we're going to round up. So the answer would be 9.2. So that's one way we could approach this question. So the answer would be 9.2 by looking at the second decimal place. It's an eight. So we round up. Alternatively, the one decimal place, the number to one decimal place just below that would be 9.1. The number to one decimal place just above would be 9.2. In the middle, we'd have 9.15, so 9.18 is closer to 9.2 than it is to 9.1. So that approach would work as well. Okay, so question number 17. So question number 17a says, round the number 7.819 to one decimal place. So we want to round it to one decimal place, so we want 7.8 or 7.9. So we look at the second decimal place, it's a 1, so we're not going to round up, so answer would be 7.8. Our next question says they're around 7.819 to two decimal places. So we want two decimal places, so it's either going to be 7.81 or 7.82. We look at the third decimal place, which is a nine, so we're going to round up, so it's going to be 7.82. Okay, our next question, question number 18. Question number 18 says they're around the number 25.733 to the nearest whole number. So it's either going to be 25 or 26. You can see it's closer to 26, so the answer would be 26. Alternatively, we could look at the first decimal place. It's a 7, so we round up, so it's going to be 26. Okay, our next question. Question number 19. Okay, so let's have a look at question number 19. So question number 19 says, 123,604 people attended a museum in November. And we've been asked to round the number 123,604 to the nearest thousand people. So we can do this question in two different approaches. You could consider the multiples of thousand. So say it's in between 123,000 and 124,000. This is going to be closer to 124,000. So that's our answer, 124,000. Alternatively, if we want to round it to the nearest thousand, we can look in the hundreds column. It's a six, so we're going to round up, so our answer would be 124,000. Okay, so let's have a look at question number 20. So question number 20 says, at a football match between City and Rovers, there were 4,486 fans. And in the match report, that number of 4,486 was rounded to the nearest thousand. Right, 4,486 to the nearest thousand. So it's either going to be 4,000 or 5,000, and you can see it's closer to 4,000, so our answer would be 4,000. Alternatively, we could look at the hundreds column, it's a four, so we're not going to round up, so we're going to leave it as 4,000 rather than round it up to 5,000. Okay, the next part of the question. At the football match, 2,156 hot drinks were sold. The caterers round this number to the nearest hundred. Round 2,156 to the nearest hundred. So again, it's either going to be 2,100 or 2,200. Because it's 56, it's closer to 200, so the answer would be 2,200. Alternatively, if we want to round to the nearest hundred, we look in the tens column. It's a five, so we're going to round up. So we're going to go to 2,200 rather than 2,100. Okay, let's have a look at the next part of our question. During the match, Rovers had 47.47% of possession of the ball during the game. And we've been asked to round the number 47.47 to the nearest whole number. So we've been asked to round this number to the nearest whole number, so that means it's either going to be 47 or 48, because this number's in between 47 and 48. And if we look at it, it's 47.4, so it means it's going to be closer to 47 than it is to 48. So the answer would be 47. Okay, question number 21. 
Question number 21, we've been given a calculator display and we've got 135.66 plus 193.88 equals 329.54. And the question says, Holly works out the answer to 135.66 plus 193.88 on a calculator and her answer is shown on the calculator. And we've been asked to round this answer to the nearest 10. So that means it is either going to be 320 or 330. It's much closer to 330, so answer would be 330. Alternatively, we could look at the ones column or the units column. It's a nine, so we round up to 330. Okay, part B, we've been asked to round this number to the nearest 100. So it's either going to be 300 or 400. It's closer to 300, so answer is going to be 300. Alternatively, we could look at the tens column. It's a two, so we don't round up, so it's going to be 300. Okay, part C says to round her answer to the nearest integer. So in this case, it's going to be the nearest whole number. So it's either going to be 329 or 330. So in between 329 and 330 would be 329.5. This is slightly above that. So that means that this number is closer to 330 than it is to 329. So the answer would be 329. Alternatively, if we're rounding to the nearest whole number, we could just look at the number in the first decimal place, which is a 5. If it's a 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, we round up. So the answer would be 330. And part D says to round the answer to one decimal place. We want to round this to one decimal place. So let's look at the second decimal place. It's a four, so we're not going to round up. So the answer would be 329.5. So let's write that down. 329.5. Okay, let's have a look at question number 22. So question number 22 says a litre of unleaded fuel costs 171.9 pence. We've been asked to round this to the nearest penny. So because we've been asked to round this to the nearest penny, it's either going to be 171 or 172. Because it's 0.9, it's much closer to 172 than it is to 171. So answer would be 172p. It's closer to that than 171p. Okay, next question. Okay, let's have a look at question number 23. So question number 23a says to write 5,725 to the nearest 100. So our choice is either going to be 5,700 or 5,800. In the middle will be 5,750, and the number we've been given is much closer to 5,700 than it is to 5,800, so to the nearest 100 it would be 5,700. Alternatively, we could have looked in the tens column, it's a 2, so we don't round up, so the answer would be 5,700. Okay, part B. Part B says to round 83.07718 to two decimal places. So if we want to round to two decimal places, we look at the third decimal place, the 7. Because it's a 7, we round up. So the answer would be 83.08. And that will be answered to two decimal places. So we look at the third decimal place. It's a 7. So that means that we round up. Okay, our next question, part C. Part C says to round 6.35 to one decimal place. So if we want to round to one decimal place, we look at the second decimal place. It's a 5, so we round up. So we're going to round up to be 6.4. So the answer would be 6.4. Part D, we've been asked to write the number 129.34952 to one decimal place. So if we want to round to one decimal place, we look at the second decimal place, which is a 4. So because it's a 4, we don't round up, so the answer would be 129.3. And Part E, we've been asked to round the number 65.047 to two decimal places. Because we've been asked to round to two decimal places, we look at the third decimal place. It's a 7, so we round up, so the answer would be 65.05. Okay. Okay, question number 24. We've been asked to round the number 9.3647 to two decimal places. Because we've been asked to round to two decimal places, we look at the third decimal place, the 4. Because it's a 4, we don't round up, so the answer would be 9.36. So 9.36. And finally, question number 25. We've been asked to round the number 8.17362 to three decimal places. Because we've been asked to round to three decimal places, we look at the fourth decimal place, which is a 6. Because it's a 6, we round up, so the answer would be 8.174. And that's it. So these have been the video solutions to the rounding practice questions. I really hope you find this video useful. If you need any extra help on rounding, if you go to these video numbers on the Corporate Mavs website, then there'll be the video tutorials on rounding. Alternatively, you could scan the QR code. Um, I really hope you find this video useful. If you have found it useful, please like it. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thanks very much. Cheers. Bye.